Hey, how's it going, everybody? Unmo here from Live Traders. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, so, just have a couple uh, trades I want to go over today. Been actually a pretty interesting uh, week, you know. Not too bad. Even uh, last week was pretty good. Last week uh, we ended up making eight R's, and uh, this week so far is off to a pretty good start too. Uh, today was a nice day with three R. Yesterday I made about 1.5 R's. So, you know, been a pretty good week and was a pretty good last week too so the month is now shaping up really really nicely so let's go over the trades from uh, today uh, today i traded in microsoft msft so you know in the morning what i saw on msft is a nice strong move and then it pulled back right and then another nice move and then it pulled back further so what it started to set up for me right was a little potentially like a flag type pattern right like this right here so then I saw it broke out of the flag, came right back up, and then pulled back. Now this trend line, right, which was resistance, now turned into acting as support. So when it started to come back up, that's where I called it uh, this Microsoft long. As you guys can see here, <coughs> called it long in the room. Uh, put, I put my stop loss down here, and I'm, uh, this uh, Microsoft just got off to a great, great move. I mean, just brilliant, right? And we took our profit on the way up. So really nice move. In fact, this is nothing. I mean, look what Microsoft actually ended up doing today. I mean, this is crazy. It's still going, right? It's still going. I got out like pretty much right here. Right. Right over here is where I got out, which is a great trade. But man, look at that. Uh, it's Microsoft. Crazy. So that was one good trade for today. Uh, one that I'm really annoyed about is Facebook. Man, like I got into this trade in the morning right over here when it looked like this. So I took it long, I called it long right above here. I put my stop loss right under it, there. I had opening range breakout set up and look at that, boom. Nice pop on Facebook, awesome. Heading to my target. It went up to 216.61. My target was 216.74. So literally 13 cents from my two hour target. And then this thing came all the way back down, took out the low of the day, stopped me out for a loss. And then eventually later in the day it came right back up so this was a losing trade today um but you know what nice trade nonetheless no problems there it was almost hit the target but at that time what happened was market started to sell off so so did a facebook facebook started to sell off and i had to take a little loss on that one but that being said i have another good trade that i took today which is on philip morris pm this is actually something uh that we traded this morning and was really really nice right over here so right over there is where I took it long. You see this little pullback? So in the morning, it had an opening range breakout. I actually missed that opening range breakout. So when it came back down to that same price, setting up a buy setup, I, I called it long here. Long here, stop loss goes down there, and a really nice trade. I mean, look at Philip Morris, boom, popped up, and our target was hit right here. And it went, and it went, I think it went higher after that, but then eventually came back down. But uh, I took my profit right in this area, pretty much a near perfect exit. So uh, Philip Morris was a nice trade. Uh, textbook setup as for PTS course. If you've taken the PTS course, you know that you know, this setup is a buy setup. And that's where I took it long and uh, got a pretty good exit right here for a two to one target. Um, so that was a nice one today on PM. And we had some really good trades yesterday too. You know, yesterday I had this PayPal. You know, I didn't make a video yesterday, um, but I posted a slide off it, I think. So yesterday I took PayPal long, which is similar setup, right over here. Let me go ahead and delete my trend line. Delete this trend lines. Too many trend lines can mess things up. Make the charts look a little messy. So I don't wanna, you know, basically I bought it here on the pullback. PayPal, put my stop loss right under here, and I took my target on the way up. So PayPal was a nice trade yesterday. It was uptrending, you know, pretty much all day. So when it did this, we had an uptrend line. I bought it at the uptrend line, put my stop here at the last pivot and PayPal just kept uptrending and we took our target here. So that was the trade I took yesterday on PayPal, which was great. Um, and, uh, you know, today I did this uh, Microsoft and, um, you know, PM, which ended up being a pretty good trade. So made this week start off on a pretty good note. A nice week so far and last week was great too and again i don't make videos all the time guys um for trade recaps but i do post it on a facebook page so if you're not doing this all right if you are not following us on our facebook page i would definitely advise you to do so if you're not on facebook you don't have a facebook account um first of all that's surprising because almost everybody does these days even my parents do but let's say you don't pretty simple just make a facebook account take 60 seconds 
right? And there, if you let me pull it up for you, this is our Facebook page. So in, on our Facebook page, as you guys can see here, you know, we post some content, some videos that might not be on YouTube, right? It's a podcast that I was on. You know, we talk about how to stick with your passions and turn them into profits. It talks a lot about trading. So stuff like that won't make it on YouTube. You know, we post some motivational quotes, some images for you, right? Motivational uh, images, keep you on track, um, you know, as well as some other trade reviews that don't make it on YouTube. So here's a trade I took on eBay the other day. We shorted it right here. And look at the drop on eBay after the short target was hit. So we post these trade recap images on our Facebook page, also on our Twitter, even blog posts, right? Like blog posts, we can't really post them on YouTube. So follow up on our Facebook page or follow us on StockWits or Twitter, um, and you'll see we'll post blog posts in there, um, you know, other videos that might not make it on uh, Facebook, as well as other trade recaps. Here's another trade I did on MU the other day. Shorted it right there, dropped down nicely, ended up becoming a pretty good trade for us. So, you know, stuff like that. I mean, because not every day we get to chance to make a video. So, you know, we'll post images of our trades. Here's another short trade I took on Amazon the other day. Shorted it right here, stop loss there, and boom, drop, and then target was it. So, um, make sure you're not on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash delta90. Here, let me show you right there. So, facebook.com slash delta90. Go there or type in live traders on Facebook. It should pop up. And then, you know, we post... Uh, a lot of stuff in there okay so make sure you're on Facebook or stock twist there's a lot of great stuff gonna be coming in there sometimes we might go live on Facebook so you know Facebook's the way to find us in there uh, but hope you guys had a great day too I and I have a quick special for you this will only be available for the next few hours right until basically the door we get too many people so for what I've done is a little special for all you YouTube people for people who've not been on in our trading room before, all right, this is only for people who've not been in our trading room before, who've never, you know, chatted with us, never tried out with us. If you're totally new to live traders, here's a special for you. Okay, click the link below this video, and then I'll, it'll take you to a special place. Or email info at livetraders.com and ask about the trading room special that I have going on. For you. It's crazy. It's almost free, basically. So I'm gonna get you in. I'll take you for your word. I'll get you in the trading room for a month on me. Or I'll pay for it on me. But you've got to promise that you ask questions. You be committed to your learning, okay? It's on me. You don't have to pay anything, all right? Um, so email info at Only for people who've never tried us before, okay? Hope you enjoyed this trade recap. Um, and, you know, we have some really cool videos coming up. So stay tuned. You know, we're working in the background. Get some really cool videos up. I shot some interviews with Jared. Um, and so those are upcoming as well. So stay tuned for those, all right? Have a great one.